Well, how do you diddly dandy there, chums? As I, Captain Steve, and we're at a portal. We're going to go and take a look at, at somebody's base in the NMSA, and then we're going to go and delete a couple of my old bases. Let's just um, activate a mondo, the portal. Let me just uh, see if my video is ready to bring it up on screen over here. Yes, it is. Lovely jubbly, just in case the chat moves too quick for me. Right, okay, so let's just uh, mute that. And right, I've got the code on my Mobility phone. There we are, Mobility phone. Excellent, eh? Let's put that there. Ex oh, freaking rotate it, didn't it? Freaking rotate back, you git. Right, okay, let's give that a go then. Okay, let's activate this. Damash! Ahoy! Well, ahoy there, Damash! Howdy diddly dandy, there, chum. There you go. There you go. Oh, there we go. What's that for you? That, that's for you. A little bat, yeah, whatever that was. Yeah, chicka pow! Arrow through the heart. Nice one. There we go. Brilliant. Right here, so here we go, let's uh, smash up this portal. So Nadir, Haru, what's happening, Steve? I guess, and then he shows his guns. Frick oh, that, that reminds me, I should turn on my power band. Power band, power band. Let's turn that on. Pow! Oh, the blinding light of the power band. You know, once this is activated, if you stack three hamsters on top of each other, I could judo chop all the way through all three of them at once. It's 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 a skill. Okay, here we go. Activate portal. Oh no, my phone's bloody gone off now. I need to stop chatting ass about chopping hamsters in half and just get on with the bloody video. Come on then. All right, come on. Rotate again. Freaking technology. Yeah, your guns are looking good, Steve. Mate, they are now. The power band turned on. Right. Okay. Here we go. Let's uh, go with boating and boat face. We want a double, double sunset. Awesome. And a dragon de fly fantastic then we want another Sunday set we want ourselves a whale or fish excellent oh uh, we want an eclipse lovely jubbly and then we want um, a waypoint yep so there we go and we want ourselves a dragon de fly followed by a beetle John Lennon variety perhaps and then we want ourselves another whale and a diplo fantastic awesome only free yes to mash you know like if you fold a piece of paper in half so many times then you try to tear it and you get so many folds and it just can't be done it's almost like the rule of hamsters it's the same sort of like um, quantum mechanics that goes into the little gits you know you stack up too many of them they become like impervious like the great wall of china in fact if you take apart the great wall of china i wouldn't be surprised if they've used hamsters as mortar right okay kfb1 hello there hello there well hello there kfb1 just go to your local pet store get a few try it Dimash, smash got myself a very own anvil yesterday i saw i saw on the twitter that's freaking ace that'd be so cool wouldn't it have a little fleet of anvils of destiny heck yes general niobe well hello there kenobi general kenobi general kenobi I, I wouldn't go as far as saying this is as dapper as that. I mean, I have got badges. Badges? Official badges! Heck yes. But there we go. Yeah, it could be like a lightsaber power band. No, no, the lights are facing me. That's no good. Haha, <laughs> there we are. Chicka pow! But yeah, I thought I couldn't let this suit go to waste, really. I mean, it's made out of real freaking unicorns. And so I got myself an undergarment. So it, it looks less sort of... It looks less sort of dodgy, doesn't it now? It looks more in keeping now with a little undergarment. It makes a world of difference. It doesn't look as dodgy you know what i mean so there we go done dilly done however you may have noticed i'm missing an armature on my glasses what do the arms come off they're not made out of very strong plastic chums let's, let's put it that way i mean um yeah they've only got two clips that hold the freaking things together i don't know whether you can see that but that's um really piss poor to be fair i would have thought it would have had like a metal rivet through it or something that was spring loaded or something my head's too big for them chums Perhaps they're made for children. Who knows? Right, okay. Excellent, eh? All right. So we got out. Yep. Hey there, Kev. Well, hello, Kev. Scottish Rod. Well, hello there, Captain. Hello there, everyone. Well, hello there, Mr. Scottish Rod. So I've been hit up by um, Mr. Uh, Vortex. Vortex of... Yeah, Vortex. Vortex has messaged me to ask me to go check, check out his base. So I'm going to go see if it's there. But as you know, people, I have some pretty darn dodgy problems with bases. So we'll go see if it appears. I do like this planet and I do like the nebula, though. You can actually see the, the nebula through the clouds. That's really quite cool. Fuji Lu. Well, hello there, Fuji and Guthrum. Hello there, Guthrum. And we've got Hodgy E5. Hello, thanks for the great vids from the US. Well, thank you, Hodge. Okay, well, thank you. The mash is uh, clapping for Mr. Rod. I would clap for Mr. Rod, too. I mean, Mr. Rod is he's an awesome guy. Scottish Rod. 
Yeah, in fact, I featured his um, his ship earlier in a video that I put live earlier today. So there we go. Oh, look, it's three minutes away. Let's go up a little bit higher and let's see if we can warp the, well, I say warp, pulse there. Okay, where's the base now? There it is. It was an optical illusion, chums. Let's go. Pow! Damash smash. Awesome channel. Awesome content creator as well. Drop each other's links into the actual uh, chat if you like, chums. So yeah, Rod, smash up Damashes and... The mash, smash up rods. There we go. Okay, so there we go. Let's uh, head on down and let's have a quick look. See, oh, this is this is looking pretty darn sweet, isn't it? That's pretty dapper. Okay, well, let's uh, land. Let's take a quick look. See if it has actually rendered in. Now he built this about a week ago or so. So hopefully, hopefully it's all going to render in. Hey, up! Oh, we got KJ PC Gaming in the house as well. So KJ, as the name might uh, allude, is a K. She's a PC gamer. And she games on the old PC platform. And uh, she usually does daily videos of her little escapades in No Man's Sky. So if you're looking for a daily fix of No Man's Sky type shizzle, go check out KJ. Oh, look at this. This is quite nice. We've got some little nip nip bushes just stuck in the ground. That's very cool. I like that. That's pretty cool. I'm, I wouldn't mind. I, I partake in that. There you go. I just trimmed your bush, my friend. Ha <laughs> ha! Right, okay. So let's have a look around here. Excellent. Landing pads, ahoy! Ah, for that might oh, this is pretty swank, isn't it? I like the use of the lighting in there and the sticker of the little yellow dude. That's pretty damn cute. Okay, we head on into here. This looks like it's all fully rendered. This is good. Um, I've been like I say, I have problems if I visit bases that haven't been up for a good four or five days. It's a pain in the neck. Sometimes I don't render. Steve, do you think it would be cool feature to witness freighters crashing into planets? Well, we see them crash there, don't we? And in one of the trailers, there was a freighter coming into the actual atmosphere and, and actually moving. I would like to see moving freighters. Whether they crash or not, that'd be frickin' ace. But it would be quite cool. Is You know when you see ships flying down to planets and they enter the planet's atmosphere? If you shoot them down, it'd be nice to see them spiral crash and then maybe you could go and salvage them or something. Or even, you know, pirate the ship, fix it back up again or something. I'm going to go back through there. No, I'm not. There we go. Oh, this is cool. Okay, well, because it's like higher than four buildings high, I'm still going to get hit with the weather effects. Let's just pop into camera mode. Oh, this is this is a treat for the freaking eyes, isn't it? What's he got down there? He's got loads of little bays down there with, with plants and shizzle in it. That's pretty cool. I'm liking this. I'm liking this a lot. This is really quite awesome. You've really down done yourself, my friend. And look at this. This is pretty awesome, too. Look at that. Does that actually animate when I'm not in camera mode? It does something. Oh no, that's probably the weather effects doing that. No, no, it is. It is doing something. It does patterns. Looks like a spirograph in the ceiling. This is this is awesome. What a wondrous, lovely base. Okay, right. Well, I did hit up the portal code at the start, but you know, a lot of people hadn't actually got their notification by then. What's this? This looks like a laser door. Look at that. How do you get them to go purple? Oh, they're bike beat cables, aren't they? I don't know actually. I'm not too sure, but they're really cool. I love that. That is really, really groovy. Appearance modifier behind some sort of like infrared door switchy thing. That's so cool. And he's got a GT terminal glitched into nothingness there. That's that's pretty cool as well. There's so many little things in here that I really like. But it's the little things that all add up and make into a real good little experience. I don't know what's going on with my camera there. That's just that's just bizarre, isn't it? That's that's not normal. Okay, well, awesome base. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm going to try and get out now. How did I get in? There was a teleporter, wasn't there, somewhere? Um, okay. Um, darn it! Darn, darn, darn! Where the heck is the blinking door? Okay. Um, no. Is that is that a teleporter in there? Let me in. Um. How the fudge did I get in here? I don't know anymore. What is that? Base teleporter. Okay, let's use that. Let's just let's just get out of here. Okay, I'll just go to... Oh! Well, we're going to go to one of my old bases and take a look-see and see what we can get rid of. So, that one I want to keep, that one I want to keep. Deep sea base. Okay. I bet it hasn't even got power. I think this was just after the abyss came in. I built this back in 2019. Let's go there. Okay, awesome. Sam John Randall. Hello there. Oh, blimey. Hello, it's uh, yeah, Space Elvis. No, it's Space Elvis. Space Elvis is more like, it's more like that, isn't it? You know, 
you got to have your colours up if you're going to be space freaking Elvis. That that's going to be combat mode. Freaking yeah, bring it on, pirates. Combat mode, on. Yeah, there we go. Back to normal. Moose Gaming. Hello, now, now. Well, hello there, Vanilla. Uh, great way to disguise the teleporter. It really was. It fox the heck out of me. Yeah, Vanilla. I love it. Thanking you. Awesome. I'm hoping you're meaning the whole in ensemble, you know. Inside Vortex took forever to line up the mash mash. Inside that was Inside Vortex's base. So there we go. Thank you for um, sending me over there, Mr. Inside Vortex, and thank you for building out in the hub. It looked like quite a nice planet. Maybe I should have stayed a bit longer and invest. Ooh, sorry, investigated the planet. But there we go. Oh, I smacked the heck out of my mic when I was trying to do my um, you know, space Elvis. Great base inside. Love it. Oh, maybe maybe it was the base that you love rather than my ensemble. But yeah, you know, it is dazzling. It is dazzling. Thanks, Nell. It was fun. It was. That's a nice base. It's a good base. Yeah, nice base inside. Says Moose. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. All, all these lovely comments for the base. Yeah, people are creative. I usually just throw my teleporter on the ground with a biofuel reactor. KJ, you're selling your bases far too short. I mean, I've seen your bases down on your beaches type planet. you got quite a nice base there. You've done a good job. So yeah, don't say yourself. Short on that one. And your bases are usually functional, unlike this one, which is foobard to hell. I mean, that's just, that's knackered. This one has no power. Like I said, this was ages ago. Have I gone the wrong way or something? I just want it out. How do I get out? Let me out. Okay. Um, what the heck am I in? Well, there's my ship over there. It looks like it's sunk slightly. Where's the, where's the door to get out of this freaking thing? Anyway, I'm out. Awesome. I don't even remember this base. This is an old, old base. Oh, fudge. There's water there. Who put that there? Damn them. Right, okay. Um. Oh, I do remember this one. Yeah, it goes underneath the ground. It goes underneath the water there. Look, you can see like a little pipe network down there and some stairs and stuff. And then there's an underwater section. It's where I actually did my trailer years ago. Uh, that can go. Uh, it has no power. It would take too much to actually power it up. So we go. Delete base. Goodbye, base. Uh, we've got Pryro Winger. Hello. Caught the stream before it was too late. You did indeed. It's only just started. It's only like 12 minutes in. Heck yes. You're here early. That's awesome. It's a booby trap. It, it did feel like that. Yeah. Yeah. Right, that's gone. Awesome. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Oh, because it's not on a landing pad, it might not let me actually get into the ship anymore. It's not... Red oh, I should have... That, that, that hole gets me. It almost, that got me a minute ago as well. Can I still get into my ship? Let me see if I... Ah! Double freaking jump. Bane of my life. Right, okay. I never use the double jump, but it's on anyway. It does help you get up mountains if you're scaling mountains. Oh, now it's not letting me get. It's not going to let me get in my ship. Jump is not letting. I'm going to have to call my ship in, even though my ship is right freaking there. Okay, there you go. Land on my head. Let, let's see how this goes. Meow. Okay, Dutch vanilla, damage. Well, hello there, Dutch. Dutch sixty six. Wah ha! There we go. Let's go. Awesome. Now I can get in. Is the Monday and Nexus on hold or stop? Stopped completely. Um, I've been talking to PT, so we are, are hoping to bring back the Nexus Lounge probably on Monday coming, the, the following Monday. So hopefully, hopefully all being good and things will get back to normal then. We'll see, we will but see. I mean at the moment, Chums, without the weekend missions and news being a little bit on the thin side, and as already knowing what's happening in mid November, the, the um, speculation and news sort of channels are a little bit on the light side at the moment. I mean, yes, we could talk about the new next-gen consoles that are coming their way, or whatever, or some of the features that we hope to see. It's like it's like in the trailer, we saw that there was droids with the Beatles, so maybe they are going to tune up the channels a bit, I mean, the planets a little bit more. Maybe we are going to start seeing a little bit more life in them, as well as extra foliage on the next-gen. But it makes you wonder whether we're going to see the droids mixed with other sorts of fauna on previous gen as well. I mean, there's a shed load of patch notes there, there isn't there? So who knows? Who knows what's going to happen? John Todd, Nexus Quicksilver missions are running, but the weekly ones have stopped. Yep, totally. Yeah, so there's mine. You can see I've got three over there. Not that I really do these anymore. If I want a bit of Quicksilver, I just go and shoot that um, interstellar ice, you know? Okay, let's go up here. It would be good to have uh, 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 back uh, PT streaming. Yeah, heck yes, Vanilla, that would be quite cool. Dutch 66, 
I'm hyped for the next gen update. Me too, especially since Cyberpunk has been pushed back to mid-December now, or the 10th of December. You know, that's that's just not good. Okay, our assistant, No Man's Sky. Hello there, Kurt! Well, hello. Nice to have you in the house, sir. Right, okay, let's go and have a look at your bases, and we'll go to the next base. Let's go to the rarest of the rare! I used to do a playlist called the P rarest of the rare, where I went to planets that were quite unique. So let's just go see how unique this looks compared to... Um, you know origins because origins have just smashed it kj says so i missed the week the, the week i missed so i missed a week does the uh, 3.2 patch supposed to do anything on pc i really don't know on pc kj i have no idea i don't really know what it does to um you know playstation really from this perspective now, it's made it a little bit more stable we were getting some weird crashes when fauna spawned in that sort of stopped so Less blue screens now on PlayStation. Not too sure about PC. Cool. And Assistant No Man's Sky. Hey, Scottish Rod, says Kurt. Awesome. John Todd, next gen patch delivers everything to PC, but you need a powerful PC to take advantage of it. Oh, oh, sorry. Yeah, you mean 3.1. So 3.10. Yes, yes, 3.10. Um, yeah, uh, there's all sorts that are. Uh, yeah, check out. Um, Zane done a really good rundown of it, Zane's well, and also I've done one as well where I, I feature the patch notes but I'm talking over the top of it. You can read the notes on screen, in fact you can just read the patch notes on the uh, on the uh, Hello Games website, but yes, there's a lot of things that they're doing. I think the patch, if I'm reading it right, will come out around November 10th when next gen drops over in the US. It doesn't drop here until the 19th. But yeah, hopefully it's just going to be some toggle switches for you guys on PC to turn on some of these higher details and higher sort of flora count and all that sort of stuff. Okay, right, so I built this base here mainly because I was impressed with this planet. How long does this ladder go on for? Where the heck am I? Let's go and have a look. This is probably an R2-D2, isn't it? Is it an R2-D2? Yeah, it's an R2-D2. And I don't ever remember it being this chromatic. I think it was purple. I'm fairly sure it was purple. But um, yeah, I, you know me, I'm not a fan of chromatics, so I'm going to be deleting this base. Where's my base computer? I can see it. Oh, there it is. I couldn't see it. It looked like a freaking rock. Okay, let's uh, get rid of that. Delete base. Goodbye base. I've got a few R2-D2 bases. I wouldn't miss it. Sorted and done. Pow! Into the EFA you go. Uh, never been to the hub um, or the cap um, hub capital, Sam. Have you not? Well, um, yeah. Anyone visited the new galactic hub capital yet? Oh, no I haven't. Dragaria? No, I might have to do that. Thank you, Sam. I'd have to uh, research and find out where it is and go and have a look. Zane had a problem getting bases to render on the Hootenanny. Yeah, yeah he did. He had to keep getting people to come and join him. Now, you know the base that I went and visited at the start of this? Although it was quite complex, it all rendered. The reason it all rendered is he waited a good four days before he sent me the link and then um, you know, said it was ready. If you leave bases long enough, they seem to render, and it seems to be four days is the magic number. And don't quote me on that, but it is for PlayStation. Okay, Vanilla, not yet, Sam. I got slightly distracted by ESO. I don't even know what ESO is. Okay, KJPC Gaming. To be fair, Josh, those bases were massive. Some were right at the max. Yeah, some of them were freaking huge. KJ, so we're looking at new ways to do the base-offs. Yeah, I mean, I still do mini base-offs in creative mode that only take an hour. I mean, how big can somebody build a base in an hour? You know what I mean? So there's no real issues there all too often. I mean, there was once when, you know, Steve King used to summon in his freighters and all the time. But even that's been fixed a little bit more now. You know, it's pretty cool. Yep. If you go to the new place, turn a multiplayer off because it blue screens. Righto. Yeah. If you do go to hub areas, I would always suggest exiting the hub area before saving and turning off your game. If you leave your save inside a hub area, there's a chance people might build new bases, it might grow, it might get to the point where your machine will fall over when you boot back up and it tries to load in all the new bases. So yeah. I, I just don't save in hub areas. I always get out of a hub area, and that sort of sorts me out, you know? Elder Scrolls Online. Oh! Oh, okay, Vanilla. Um, I, you know me, I, if you've been watching my channel long enough, you'd know that I have problems with Elder Scrolls. 
and I, I have been meaning to pick it back up again, especially in VR, but I just haven't. You know, every time I think about giving a new game a go, Hello Games chuck out another update. They're freaking awesome! Yeah, this keeps me entertained. This is this is unlike any other game out there, isn't it? It really is. Okay, Joshua Elwick, my jack my jack of lantern base wasn't too big and it had trouble rendering. Yeah, I saw yours, uh, Josh. That was yours, was it? That was really cool. The pixel art lantern. Yeah, with all the little light things in the in the eyes and the mouth. Very cool base. I really liked that. That was really cool. Okay, so here we go. I didn't actually see Zane try to visit my base. I, I had to go to bed. I, I watched the first eight bases and that's as far as I got. Cool, and I haven't gone back yet. The Spiffing Brit videos on Skyrim and his character Keanu Reeves <laughs> is hilarious. Okay, I liked the Spiffing Brit. I might have to go and watch those. Somebody that I do like that does a little bit of um, Elder Scrolls is Hello It's Kylo. And she also does a little bit of Rogue Squadron. But she's awesome. She also does, um, oh, was it? Horizon Zero Dawn. She's a well spoken, lovely lady. Beautiful red hair. She's really cool. And she's very animated. She's very easy to watch. She's very cool. Check her out. Hi, hi it's Kylo. I've been trying to try and get her to play uh, No Man's Sky because she plays Elite Dangerous and lots of other sci fi games. So it would be awesome to see her try this out. Cool. Uh, we got uh, Inside Vortex. Just stay away from those chickens. <laughs> yeah, Inside Vortex, you know the story. Yeah, I killed a chicken. The villagers got angry. I killed the villagers. And then I thought, well, I've just scuppered myself because I also killed the blacksmith. Not good. Okay, he's not keen on No Man's Sky. The Spiffing Brit. No, I think I've seen some of his videos on um, No Man's Sky. And he keeps saying he's never going to come back to it, but then he does a review... I think the last one he'd done, wasn't it Next or Beyond? I don't think he's done one as recent as for Origins, or at least I haven't seen one. But then I don't watch him all that often. I'm not subscribed to him. So it's only if he appears on my recommended. But yeah, he's got that little icon with the guy with the monocle, hasn't he? If I'm thinking of the right guy. Here we go, Earth T-Rex. Or alas, is what he used to have, I guess. I'm underneath the freaking ground. Oh, for fudge sake. Okay, this could be interesting. Let's try jumping out and see what can happen. I can't even jump out. Ass. Okay, uh, train manipulator time. Yeah, I can do that. Now can I get out? Let me out of my base, damn you. Right, well this one's definitely going to be deleted because it's half buried. Oh, it's turned into a marsh world. Well, that definitely wasn't a marsh world when I built it. And I called this Earth T-Rex. <laughs> so I guess it had an Earth-type fill. Well, that Earth-type fill is now gone. I'm going to have to dig out my base computer as well. There it is. Let's get rid of that then. Okay, cool. And I bet it doesn't even have the T-Rex on it anymore. We can delete this. Let's get rid of that. Goodbye. Frankie Blaze. Why the hell is everyone, everyone hopes we're having a wonderful election day? Is it election day in the US already, is it? Is it already election day? Radio. Well, um, yeah. I try to steer clear of the news and the politics at the moment. It just brings me down. There's there's nothing on there that's any any good, is there? It's it's always something horrible. Yeah, you're guaranteed to turn the news on and get something freaking horrible. So yeah, I don't bother with it at the moment. It's I might watch like the lives of uh, or the summaries of Boris Johnson because at the moment we keep getting given all these different things that we can and can't do because of the current situation of the world I can't get in my freaking ship again and it's it's like trying to work you've got to do mental gymnastics to work out what the heck is going on inside vortex thankfully election day can't end soon enough cool cool Sam John Randall lots of love and uh, hope for you Americans may sanity win thank you yes well yeah, Pryro, Skyrim is always a backup game um, if the internet goes down. Sweet. Oh, it's offline, is it? Sweet. Nice. Let's change this up. Let's have something new. What's that? Well, it looks like a little flappy bird running through um, some sort of like forest or something. Ridwan! But did he? Hello there, Ridwan. Cyclops Steve. Aha! Not anymore. This is like flappy bird Steve now. Awesome. Awesomeness. Cool, cool. Yeah. Arrow shooter 896. I would love to be able to jump in. All oh, right, on multiplayer, but there's no real point. I'm bouncing around the universe, deleting all my bases, 
and by the time you'd end up getting motion sickness but yeah some other time perhaps yeah I mean um I do sometimes turn on my multiplayer for people to come and join us in the background give a wave and all that sort of shenanigans but yeah hopefully we'll go to one of my more interesting bases in a minute people so I'm sl oh it's Madfish Magpie hello well hello there Madfish Magpie Madfish Magpie does a lot of No Man's Sky sort of streams and she also does some art inspired by No Man's Sky so she she painted a um, giant snaky type worm thing the other day pretty damn sweet Frank Blaze okay so Red Pearl Base let's go there he says Flappy Bird Steve is going to be my new Twitter handle <laughs> your name's Frank isn't it okay well, fine <laughs> fun uh, Sam John Randall oh, well, that went a little bit too quick Where did that? Oh, I can't even freaking read that there we go let's have a look at see Madfish Magpie, what's your Twitter username? I yes, uh, hi Madfish. I'm not 100 percent sure. KJPC Games, hi Maddie. Inside War Sex, Madfish, Vanilla, hello there, Maddie. Oh, a lot of love in the house for Madfish, and rightly so. She's awesome, and she's very artistic, and uh, yep, great personality as well. Awesome. And uh, yeah, so when Madfish plays, she tends to sort of focus on um, games where the main person in the game is a lady. And uh, yeah, so she's done Tomb Raider, she's done Horizon Zero Dawn, and yeah, very cool channel, very cool channel. S oh, we've got Savine! Hello there! It is long time no see, Savine! And we're welcome back! Welcome back at it! Are you still doing your 3D printing? I guess. Awesome. Well, hello there, lovely people. Thank you, Steve. Not a problem. Uh, yeah, always, always a pleasure. There you go. There's a link there to Madfish's Twitter account. So there you go. It's pretty much just Madfish Magpie. I thought it was, but I didn't want to say it was. Okay, so I'm on Big Red. Now, this was a Big Red Planet. Uh, kind of, the name is a big giveaway to that. Uh, let's let's head on out and we'll, we'll see if it's still Big and Red. Um, I can't actually find the exit. Come on, then. Let's, uh, let's go this way. Let's see if we can get out of this dang place. Right. Okay. I've, I've I've got fed up with that. I'm going to put a door on the dang thing. Then we're going to get out there anyway, because it's my base. I'll do what I like. Yeah. There we go. Boom. I'm out. Fantastic. It's not red anymore. We've got glowing orange grass. Bioilluminant orange. How cool is that? Okay. Let's have a look what this looks like in the daytime. Oh. 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 Really? So it's no longer red. It's now a giant orange, fungally type lush. That's actually really quite cool. I'm liking the bright yellow water, although it's not really appetizing to swim in. It does look a little bit, you know, yeah, someone's peed in the pool. Okay, um, where's the base computer? We're going to get rid of the base anyway, because we may as well. There it is, over this way. Let's go get rid of that. What an awesome planet! Okay, well, never seen orange bioluminescent. No, I think this is a first for me as well. The water looks a bit strange. Yeah, yeah, I'm not going to be swimming in there to be fair. Let's delete that. Let's get rid of this. Giant on orange fungus. Something, yeah. Election day. <laughs> You're trying to tie it to um, Mr. Trump, are you? A, this, this, this is the Trump planet. Yeah, well, to be fair, I'm kind of worried. If it, either or, either or, I, you know, I wouldn't want to be voting for either of those people if I was in the US, to be fair. Um, yeah, I mean, I think Biden will probably only, if he does get in, will only serve a few, a few terms in office before, you know, he hands over to Kamala. And yeah, I, I don't know. It's a, I'm a little bit on the fence. And also with the economic crisis that there is at the moment, I think maybe the best person to actually steer America out of any economic crisis would be a businessman, would be Trump. As much as I'm not really into Trump, I hate to say it, he, he might be the best man for the job right now. You know? So who knows? Who knows? I, I wouldn't want to be in a position to vote for either of them, is what I'm saying. Um, but at the same time, you know, it is what it is. At least you can vote. Democracy! Heck yes. Okay, Frankie Blaze. Same here, Steve. I didn't want to vote for either of them. Heck no. Yeah, Steve, stop it, please. Okay, sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah, evening cap and chat. Well, hello there, Banana Tom. 
Um, hi, Vanana. Yeah, well, there was a lot of people talking about it, so I thought I'd chime in. You know, if, if it's interesting to the community, I'll throw in my two cents. But to be honest, I don't live in America. It's not my headache. <laughs> but then, you know, it can affect the whole world, can't it? Because America is such a powerhouse. Right, so let's head on up and let's go on through. And also being a little bit, you know... Hmm, England's got to strike up some sort of trade deal at some stage. It doesn't sound like we're getting on too well with the freaking EU. So, you know, we may have to do trade deals with the US and pretty much every other country. And, um, you know, Trump seems to have his head screwed on in that case, too. Cota Base, the Space Odyssey. Let's go there. Let's go, let's go. I think I put a base here, mainly because the freighters in that system look like the ones from Space Odyssey. You know, the one with the big round, um, round head. Inside Vortex, up next religion <laughs> I love religion though I love all religions yeah so yeah I wrote my own I wrote my own religion it's yeah it's craziness right Frankie Blaze all my good friends call me Frankie Blaze I'm glad that same so naturally awesome to you well thank you that's nice one Frankie Damash Mash laugh out loud inside Damash hi Tom well hello there Tom banana Tom hello banana Tom if this Banana Tom got a channel, I haven't actually checked out Banana Tom yet to see if he has. You can't just click on people's icons anymore, can you? And just jump straight to their channel. You have to actually Google search them and all sorts of stuff. It's a pain in the neck. I don't know why they changed that. It's a pain. It really is. Uh, okay, right, so inside. Only if it's a bad religion. Laugh out loud. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, they you know, there's some people inside of uh, No Man's Sky that, like the Corvax, that worship the Atlas and almost have a religion based around the Atlas. Although they don't throw it in the face in the law, do they? There's no sort of very religious doctrine going on in there. So it's very cool. Arrow shooter, hi Captain Steve. I only see you fly your ship, but do you have a capital ship? I got one and have many ships. Okay, and can send them all out. Uh, okay, um, here you go. I'll show you mine. There you go, bum bum bum, chicka pow pow! There it goes. And then you should see my whole fleet appear in a minute. Maybe. There they all come. There's, there's a shed load of them. I've got a full fleet. I've got 30, 30 frigates or whatever. Whatever the maximum is. Oh my days! This planet has really grown legs. This is beautiful. Apart from the storm. And what have I got here? Oh, this is that little Atlas shrine that I built. Yeah, so back in the day, Cobra was doing like the Cult of the Atlas. And we were just talking about religions, weren't we? And the Cult of the Atlas. Yeah, it does. It wasn't really a cult. I mean, he kept saying it wasn't a cult, but you know, who knows? But yeah, this was what I, I built this little shrine because of the name, the Cult of the Atlas. Yeah, I, I remember building. Oh, this, was, this brings back such good memories. And what a lovely planet this is now with all those strange plants on it. That's pretty damn sweet. That's pretty swish. I like that and what a cute little base the only thing is it hasn't got power now and even if it did have power it lets all the wind in and the storms and it looks like this planet has now generated some new storms and I have come across a lot of planets with that sort of flora life on it now it depends what the uh, fauna is like here to be fair if it had something really interesting I might be half tempted to put another base down what are you oh it's a mini freaking diplo no way! Okay, let's have a better look at him. That is probably the world's smallest Diplo. Look at him! Yeah! You know, I was talking about tr judo chopping, like, stacked three hamsters in half. Pow! With my power. You, I could probably go through one of those with his power band. It's a little mini snake head Diplo. That is so freaking sweet. Well, chums, if you do want to come here and visit the world's smallest Diplos, or Euclid's smallest diplos. There you go. The code's in the bottom left hand corner there. And it's quite a lovely planet. And uh, yeah, you can make it your home. And this was in the Cult of the Atlas. So if Mr. Cobra does one day come back, it could be well worth having a base here. You know what? I'm going to leave it here just in case that day does arrive. If Cobra does come back, I'll be doing freaking backflips. No, I won't, because I'm not gymnastic by any stretch of the imagination, and I'll probably do myself an injury. Anyway, let's go back up to the Nexus, but I will be a very happy Captain Steve. Heck yes. Okay, nice diplo. That really was. Yeah, that was cool. Laugh out loud at Frank. What has Frank said? Uh, let's have a good look at Frank said. What did Frank say? Let's go back up. Billy Billy B. I can't 
Frank. Have you tried other space exploration games? Eh, that can't be what it was, but yes, I have. Cobra is on Star Citizen now, isn't he? He, he is. He really is, Frank. What else was it from Frank? Let's go. That's more like a dip low. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Sneaky. That's pretty damn freaking sweet. Hi, Vanilla. Fine, thanks. And you? Nice one. Oh, hello, P1 Stream. Haven't seen you for a little while. And Josh Elwick. Awesome micro dippy. It really is, isn't it? Okay. Oh, this one's making a little humming noise. Oh, there we go. That's pretty swishing. It looks like a lava lamp going on there. Ready, hope. Okay. Back to the Nexus. Yeah, so at one stage when I was hopping across the universe, I wanted to see how many hops it actually took me from my starting spawn points. That's why a lot of my systems are actually named after numbers, because I was numbering the systems as I went along. And I, 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 I soon gave up with that idea. OK, let's go here. The anomaly. Quick return is so handy for base mag. It really is, isn't it? It really is. Glad they added it. Me too. Heck yes. Gamma hub. So this says that it's in the hub, so this might be in the NMSA hub. Did I create it that long ago? Maybe I did. Okay. Roaring nuclear wind. Let's go check this one out. Let's go see this. So at least we found one base that I want to keep, which is pretty cool. There we are. Ah, cool, cool. Oh, pig pog. That's all good. Until you get to system number 69. That's the magic number. That is the magic number, isn't it? There we are. P1 stream, hi Scottish Rod, Frankie Blaze. Has anyone else noticed that those community highlights haven't changed in like six months? The bases, yes, yes I have, heck yes. It's, it's bizarre isn't it that? I'm wondering whether they're doing something with all the bases on the servers at Hello Games to the point that they might be able to input new... Because this was the first step of many, they said, in Origins. And they said that, you know, they've got a nice problem with the community and bases and how the community own current space. So they couldn't play with the, the planets too much. So I'm wondering whether they're doing something. It's like if you go and visit those bases at the moment, you'd have a look at um, uh, Ray Reynolds. And his is done in creative mode. Then one of the other bases is in perma and the other one's in normal. And it doesn't matter what mode you're in, you can go to that base. So I'm wondering whether they're going to make some sort of centralised hub for bases to appear in. I don't know. I have no idea. John Tud, yuck. Microwave leftover tacos are terrible. Just letting you know for your own safety. I've never tried microwaving a taco. I'd imagine that goes like cardboard. I don't, I don't think that's a good idea. Grumpy Weirdo. Hello there, Grumpy Weirdo. Ahoy, Captain. Hello, crewmates. Love the glasses. Well, thanking you. Yeah, they do all sorts of gnarly shizzle. Look at that. Wow, it's like a wave of awesomeness. I'll keep that one on for a while. Oh, uh, what the fudge? What was that message? Okay. I'm surprised that these are growing. It hasn't got power. Okay. I sort of remember this base. You go out the side door here, and I think I built a cave, a little hidden cave, in the wall over here somewhere, and there's loads of gamma roots inside the cave, but it looks like that's all been filled in. Okay, awesome. So this was just a, a gamma-type farm that I built. It can go. It can go. Your bases belong to us. Do they? Okay, well, that's not my base marker. That's somebody else. That's not my message board. I have no idea what's going on there. Maybe it's somebody that's taken over my base. Who knows? Where is my blinking blaze computer? Uh, where is it? Oh, there it is. It's on the shelf on the actual... Um, cool. Let's go over here. Let's get rid of that. That is a weird comms ball, isn't it? Hopefully I'm going to be able to delete my base. Hopefully they haven't taken ownership of it. I know there were people building giant boxes over bases and nicking people's bases. That was a thing for a while. Okay, awesome. Sam John Randall, thank you for your TED Talk at John Todd. Nice. Hello there, John. And we've got Colster S. Anyone else having issues with peeps stealing farming products? Um, not overly, to be fair, because I don't even visit my own farm. So, yeah, th there probably would be a problem if I was monitoring it every day or something. I mean, I put all my bases out there and I don't really mind people raiding them. If I need something, I usually craft it on the fly, you know what I'm you know what I mean? It's, it's very rare that I go to my own farms. It's weird. I build them and then I don't use them. Cool. Frankie Blaze, all your bases belong to us is a reference to an old Japanese video game the English didn't translate well. Oh! I had no idea. No idea. So maybe it's just something and nothing at the same time. Vintage Internet. Nice. 
Savine, 42, yes, every time I, I come back. The glasses are gone. Oh, the gases, the gases, the gases are gone. Yeah. Sam John Reynolds coming next. Badger, 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 mushroom, mushroom. <laughs> yeah, I know old internet. Okay, I was um, over at my friend's and we was doing some Halloween pumpkin carving. And I introduced his children to Charlie the Unicorn. It's 11 years old. Charlie the Unicorn is 11 years old. I had no idea. Craziness. Okay. And I'd never watched the actual, the two-parter ender for Charlie the Unicorn. That was a treat. Colster S, if you own your own bases in single player, instead of having multiplayer on, your stuff will all be there. Yes, yeah, just turn your multiplayer on. That's a good, uh, multiplayer off. That's, that's a good point. Hub PvP base. Okay. Now, this could be one of many of the PvP arenas I've built in the past, chums. We're going to have a look. It could be the one at Dakota. I did build one in Dakota. I think I might have deleted that one a little while ago. But we'll have a look. We shall see. Started building... Oh, what's that? Started building roofed and floored concrete boxes around storage silos and making sure edit permissions are tight. Excellent. All your bases. Okay, we bought best ever baby baboon. I haven't seen that one, Sam John Randall. One of my favourites is um the Kenya one. Oh, we're going to see lions only in Kenya, 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 Kenya. Oh, we got lions. Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's quite catchy. It gets stuck in your head. It's a real earworm. Not when I sing it, because it's you know it's kind of completely out of sync when I sing it. I can't believe Charlie the Unicorn is 11 years old. I feel so old now. Ha ha ha. Exactly. Same here. I mean, I was watching it, and, and uh, one of the kids pointed out, it's 11 years old. That's just, uh, that's older than me, is what they said. <laughs> I can't believe it. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's one we made as... as that, uh, stream team? No, it's not the one that we made in Stream Team. Um, that's the NMSA hub one. This one, I'm not too sure what this is. Planet X King. I discovered it, but it's not our PvP arena. This is the one I made with Steve King. And um, at the time, because it had indoor areas, you, your multi tools kept getting put away all the time. It was a, a pile of shite, and it was only a, a one versus one sort of affair. Yeah, this one can go. This is such a small, silly little arena. But we had a lot of fun there. Okay, we, that's going. Let's get rid of that. Delete base. Goodbye, base. Captain Birdseye. Hi there, Steve and all. Well, hello there, Captain Birdseye. I like the llamas with hats. Made by the same guy who made Charlie the Unicorn. Frank, when I checked out Charlie the Unicorn, that's all he had back then, I believe. I mean, um, but yeah, I noticed he's got loads on there now, hasn't he? I'm going to have to go check the guy out and watch all of his newer stuff. He's got all sorts on there. I noticed he had something about a horse as one of his latest ones. But yeah, I need to make an effort to go watch all that. Vincent Lawson, sup? Well, sup, Vincent. Ali Kanali, bloody hell, Steve. You still got that thing? I don't believe it. You, you mean this whole get-up? Heck yes. I'm, I'm wearing an undergarment now. No, None of the whole chest hairy type stuff sticking out I figured I'd wear it a little bit more you know I paid I paid for the dance stuff so I might as well wear it a little bit more heck yes he still has it on cyber heck yes yeah this is to be honest I put a little poll out on my channel anyway on my community wall and there was more people that like it than dislike it so I figured you know I've got this online persona and personality why not have a little a little laugh while doing it at the same time you know it's a little bit of fun cancels order for chest wig yeah, you, you don't need a chest wig if you're Captain Steve. That stuff grows like freaking grass. Okay, <laughs> not that you want to know that. Too much info. Okay, let's uh, head on over here. Okay. Real unicorns? It is. It's made out of real freaking unicorns. Heck yes. I've got to say as a disclaimer, no real unicorns were hurt in the making of this, in this uniform. But there were. There's a whole freaking unicorn slaughter factory. <laughs> no, there isn't. There honestly isn't. Heck yes, I'm loving the shades. Uh, might get get a pair myself. But if you do, Frank, um, check this out. One of the arms has fell off. You see that? It's only got two clips that hold it on. So if you've got a big head like mine, they snap. The only thing that's holding these things to my face right now are my headphones. Yeah, so just be aware that they're not made out of the greatest plastic in the world. Okay, let's go, let's go. Hobbs Circuit Board Farm. 
Well, I bet you this was before it was had, had power as well. I think that one's gone. Really, though, is it comfy? No, they are not comfy. The actual ridge that sits on your nose digs into your nose like it, it, it's not good. Um, I've actually put some foam on there, some sticky foam, and even now it's, it's starting to really rub on my old nose. And I'm only 45 minutes in. I wouldn't want to wear them to a rave or something, which I think they're made for, is going out clubbing, basically. I wouldn't want to wear them, and you're bouncing about, you'd end up with freaking nose blisters, I tell you. They're really, really uncomfortable. Okay, poor you. I should do a review on the damn things. Yeah. Then again, uh, I have seen that they now make a whole face shield. They make a whole face shield. The same company, I think. It's got the same sort of horrible nose ridge, though. So it's probably going to carve your nose off when you're wearing it. There we go. Hello from work. How's it go, Captain? Well, hello there, Voodoo Roll. Working and lurking. I like it. It's awesome. I mean, the outfit. The outfit is super comfortable, and this top that I've got underneath it is like one of those stretchy muscle type top type ones, which is quite cool. I wanted to wear something light and airy for when I'm actually streaming, because when you're streaming, I don't know whether it's just me, but I get a bit nervous, get a bit hot, get a bit sticky. So, yeah, this is this is comfortable anyway. It's practical. Taking one for the team, Steve. Heck yes, yes. It's pain in the name of fashion. <laughs> if you want to call this fashion, you know. Wouldn't it be cool if I did start a trend, though? Imagine walking downtown and everybody's got some of these shades on with nose blisters. Yeah, it'd be pretty awesome. I, I suppose if enough people were wearing them and complaining about them, they'd do something about the nose blister situation, wouldn't they? So, yeah, who knows? It could be that if we all suffer in pain and complain, we might get somewhere with it. Oh, I remember this base. This is this is big, but it's pointless. Yeah, it's um, it's not the best of bases, to be fair. I don't think. Right, oh, where, where's my base computer? Fudge. Is that it? All the way. Over... Is it floating in midair? How the fudge am I going to get to that? Okay. Uh, let's try this. Let's give it a go. Let's just try flying gingerly around it. Can I stand on the dang thing? This is going to be... Oh, I, I was on it then! Oh, my days. This is this is not easy. Okay. Ah, oh, I fell through it. Right, I think I'm going to have to build up to my freaking base computer. How embarrassing is that? Alright, um... Right, let's, uh, let's see if we can do it this way. Diddly-dee, diddly-dum. Uh, not in that menu. Which menu? This is the menu I wanted. Oh. It's not letting me build there. Why not? Invalid position. It really isn't. Or maybe it is. Git! How the heck am I supposed to get up to that then? Okay, um... Let's try this way then. Diddly -dee. Stairs. Where are you, stairs? There you are. Rotator Mondo. Man, this sort of thing usually only happens to like Mr. Doody Dude or something, but here we go. We're going we're gonna to be doing this now. Let's go. Yeah, I'm going to build up to it. Yeah, let's, let's go. That's about the right height, maybe. Let's uh, try putting in some glass flooring. What a pain in the neck. Okay, now can I interact with you, base computer? Yes, I can. Right, you're definitely going. Delete. Oh, no, I freaking uploaded it to the servers. What a Right here we go, let's try that again. Delete! Disappear a Mondo, you Rotate a Mondo, my new favourite word. You can add Mondo onto almost anything and it instantly transforms that word into something awesome. So there we go. There's a little hint for you. The only thing is if you put it on awesome, like awesome Mondo, it doesn't quite work. You can't put two awesome words together. It just doesn't work. Super Mondo. See, it doesn't really doesn't do it, does it? You know, it, it just sounds lame. But if you add Mondo onto Door, like Dora Mondo, it instantly becomes transformed into something awesome. Blooming heck, looks like a Fortnite with that. It really does, doesn't it? it it's, it's not good. And to disappear a Mondo now. Heck yes, disappear a Mondo. Yeah, you can you can you can you can add it onto some very yeah. Fibromyalgia Mondo. No, that does not work, you know. You just sound like a doctor now. A very cool one, though. Actually, yeah, cool doctors. Fire, bro, mal, yeah. I don't even know what that is. It sound, it doesn't sound nice, though. 
You know, there's some words that actually sound terrible. Five rauja mon. Yeah, that that sounds terrible. I wouldn't want to catch that. Okay, time for a beer, Mondo. Heck yes, Cloister. Yeah, there we are. This this is actually catching on. This is good. Steve needs quote commands just for awesome words. That'd be freaking ace, wouldn't it? I saw a movie, Mondo. Starring Matt Damon, Mondo, Mondo, <laughs> Frankie. That's awesome. That sounds like a disease. It really does. Yeah, I disagree on the conclusion, uh, Mondo. Okay. Uh, yeah. Oh, you 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 disagree with my conclusion on Mondo? Okay. Well, it, it's yeah. Go for it. You can explain why. Sam Randall. That was uh, ta um, that was ta uh, fiber. Yeah. No, not so good. Matthew, you can return to the anomaly when you teleport to bases from there. Heck yes, you can. Okay, right, here we go. Let's um, go to Hub Cactus. Hub Cactus. Is this the one with my awesome scorpion? Let's see. Let's go. Let's go to the uh, uh, anomaly Amondo. Heck yes. I like your. your para. Paza? Good, sir. Pizzazz! I like your pizzazz! Yeah, that, that's a lovely word. Pizzazz is a word that doesn't get used enough. Pizzazz? Like it. That's very nice. Snazzy is another one that doesn't get used all that often. Snazz. I'm going to snazz that out there? Heck yes. Yes, it's terrible. That, um, it's, it's, uh, yes, it's a terrible thing. I, I haven't come across it. I'll have to Google it and find out exactly what it's all about, to be fair. But, yeah... Yeah, there, there are some odd ones. It's like I was, I was watching one over in America. I can't remember what it. Morgellons, Morgellons. It's this weird sort of substance that appears underneath the skin, and it it actually almost feels like like metal sort of. I don't know, but they can pull it out of their skin. It's like a foreign object, and they've sent it off to scientists and all sorts, and they can't really work out what these materials are that are coming out of people. It's bizarre. Yeah, very odd. Morgellons. There's some very odd sort of weird things going on in the world. It's like the whole Zika virus. I mean, how the heck did that even come about? That's just mental. Scottish Ro Okay, yeah. Uh, Phantasmaglorious themed. Uh, yeah. That's some freaking mental words there. Corktastic. Corktastic? Awesome. Snazzy, Pizzazz, Amondo, title of Captain Steve's first harmonica, death metal album. Let's give it a go, shall we? On my space whistle. Let's um let's see what some of that might sound like, shall we? Here we go. Cover your cat's ears, people. It's coming. That did not have a death metal feel to it. That really did not have a um death metal feel. But there we go. Bizarre Mondo. That pretty much sums up that little tune, doesn't it? That little ditty. There we go. Bizarre Mondo. Done. Diddly done. I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this one without um seriously digging at it but let's just stick a door on let's just get out the side shall we oh right okay it's not liking a door there for some reason probably because we're underneath the ground where did I just I just stuck the door on something that it didn't need a door on okay okay let's just go through here oh uh, we have got a door we've got a door already it's just half buried terrain manipulation let's try that let's try and get out of here okay can I get out now oh my days oh I remember this one I built this underneath a uh, trading post, which means my base is probably up on that platform, on that ledge. That's where I like to build them on trading posts. However, trading posts have a, a habit of sinking by a couple of feet, as you can tell by my base computer. There we go. Let's get rid of this. Ah, oh, Moose Gaming in the house. Hello there, Moose Gaming. So Moose has got an awesome channel, people. If you haven't checked out good old Moose, he's got um, some awesome stuff going on there at the moment. He's just got that new Watch Dogs game. So if you're interested in Watch Dogs, I would suggest watching Moose play it because it's hilarious. It, it's quite funny watching him accidentally run people over and then apologising to them as they go bouncing over his bonnet because he forgot which side of the road he should be on. Because <laughs> he's American and he's driving around English streets. It's, it's quite good. I've caught him um, playing once. I really need to catch a few more of his streams because it was it was entertaining. And plus, you know, it's got places that I know. You know, it's it's London. It's it's freaking ace. Vanilla has just dropped a link to Moose's channel there. So what I would say is probably hit him up now rather than try to find him later, because if you type in Moose Gaming, loads of channels come back. Loads of them. 
and he's really difficult to find. Um, he needs to work on that one, I think. I don't know how he's going to do it because there's just so many people that like the word moose. I don't know why. Strange one. There you go. Yeah, hit that link and just uh, hit a quick subscribe and go watch him. Jump back here, obviously, and then, uh, yeah. Cool, cool. John Todd. Yeah. Oh, Bobby Maggie's in the house. Hello there, Bobby. Hello, Bobby. Frankie Blazy. Yeah, I've been playing some Watch Dogs. It's been an interesting game. The London map is pretty faithful. It really is, and so is all the actual speech. I thought that they'd really ham it up, but no, it's actually on point. It's actually really good. It's very good, in fact. Yeah, the Watchdog game tonight. Oh, okay, sweet. Moose and Mondo. Heck yes. Cheers now. Hi, Barbie, says Moose. Bobby's a lovely guy. I usually stream with him and Mr. Castle on a Friday. If you've missed um, any of the Friday streams, you want to know who Bobby is. He's usually on there. Lovely, lovely chap. Okay, cool. And uh, anything for you, Rod? What did KJ say? I just saw a little uh, laugh out loud. KJ, maybe change to Moose A1 Gaming. Something like that, yeah. Something, I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah. Okay, Moose, Subamondo. Nice one. Thank you, Richard Hertz. I'm thanking you, people. You'll be glad you did. He's, he's an awesome streamer. Okay, let's head on up here. Not a problem. Let's go. Rod, I've told your wife that I can call you Me Melea Rod. What? Melea Rod? Why? What, 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 what's going on there? Okay, Moose Gaming, cheers, not a problem. And, uh, ping Pong, Moose Gamer Mondo, Gaming a Mondo. Yeah, you could add a load of Mondos into your gaming title. That, 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 might, that might do it, but yeah. Okay, here we go, quota. We got. Sometimes if you put Moose Gaming NMS, you, you get him. Or you get one of my videos with him in, when I've done a, a base off. But there we go. Scottish Rod, yes, KJ. Have you tried out the Wilds? If you love space games, I bet it's right up your alley. Ah, that's one that... Um, I mentioned her earlier. Hello Kylo is um, playing. Okay, and uh, yeah, I've seen her playing it. It does look right. It does look really good, and it looks like it's got a good little story as well. It's got this rod. Yes, KJ. The one I like the look of is that one where you're building on this big sort of ring. Uh, it's uh, something starship or something like that. Um, yeah, it looks really cool. Laugh, KJ PC Game Man, uh, laugh out loud. Rod likes to show up on his wife's channel sometimes, and I always miss it. Ha ha ha. And I say, uh, okay, fair enough. That's a bit like my missus. She's got a channel as well. I didn't know Scottish Rod's missus had a channel. Mr. Rod, you're going to have to send me a link to that channel. I'm going to go watch that as well. Heck yes. Awesome. KJ's channel, nice one, Vanilla. Thank you, Nell. Yep. So if you haven't checked out KJ and you are looking for a daily dose of No Man's Sky, KJ is pretty damn sweet. Okay, Elite Dangerous, you would like. Elite Dangerous is awesome. Yeah, Elite Dangerous is cool. I did I did play Elite Dangerous for some time. I had an awesome ship. I put too many hollow points in for weapons. And when I put my weapons out to shoot people, it turned off my life support because I had too many weapons. So I could only shot, like, shoot people for like 60 seconds, but that's all I freaking needed. It was a freaking lethal ship. It really was cool. And we've got Big Pidge in the house. Oh, hello there, Big Pidge. And Joshua Gadge. Uh, can't wait for the si new Cyberpunk. No, but it's been pushed back to the 10th of uh, December now. I have it on pre-order as well now. Heck yes. Uh, I can't wait to get my hands on it as well and actually see what that's like. Okay, so this is a base that I'm not going to delete. This is my Solar Scorpion. So I'm going to be ending off on this one. I'm just going to show you this one quickly. What was that giant rumble? Oh! There's volcanoes on the planet now. That's pretty damn sweet. Look at all the... Uh, the gas being ejected from it as well. That is so cool, isn't it? Oh, wow. This was just a normal solarium planet before. It wasn't a volcanic planet. Hopefully it hasn't sunk at all. But there you go. There's my Scorpion. Let's just put the sun in the sky so you guys can see it a bit better. So I did have a Scorpion that got featured in the Nexus. But that's my Kraken Scorpion. This is a another version of the Scorpion. I'm not too sure which one I like the most out of the two. But yeah, scorpions are very easy to make. And um, I've got a video on my channel. If you just put in Captain Steve, how to make a scorpion base, you'd get a video of me. I think actually making this one. I think it was this one, or it might be a different one. But yeah, um, so you can watch that back and you can see how I made that. But I've got a load of stuff going on under here as well. So yeah, a load of solar vine. But what an awesome planet. I might have to explore this in a future episode and see if it's worthy of a review. If you guys want to come here, there's the coordinates in the bottom left-hand corner right now. I believe this might be in the No Man's Sky hub as well. 
So yeah, if you do come here, if you, it is in the 905, it's part of the um, the No Man's Sky hub. But there we go. I think that's a decent little area to end off on. You know, that could actually even be my um, thumbnail, couldn't it? Since it's got a exploding volcano in the background. Let's see if we can get the light in to look fairly good on that. I think that looks pretty damn swish. But on a thumbnail, probably not so much. Oh, there we are. That looks pretty cool. So that's going to be my uh, that's going to be my thumbnail. People in the world, thank you very much for tuning in. I'm going to end off. I think I've got steak tonight. Ivy's cooking me a steak, which is freaking awesome. So yeah, can't wait for that one. But you guys have been awesome as always, and I'll catch you next time. Take care for now all. Goodbye. Take care. So I'm going to end off the stream here. Here we go. Let's end that off. Broadcast settings. There we go. Definitely keeping that base, Mr. Scotch Rod. Anyway, take care, everyone. Thank you for joining me. Bouncing blue screen. Heck yes. Take care.